You're back on with your favorite seamstress, Taylor Bay. Today we're gonna be making a plaid mini skirt. Lately I've been in love with plaid skirts. So, so it has three front panels and a cutout by each thigh. I think that is so cute. I started the slits at the beginning, but I didn't actually finish them there because I thought I didn't want them there. Then the skirt came out too plain. So I decided to go back in later and add them in just follow the steps exactly how you see in the video and i'm gonna get y'all right let's go i'm chalking out the outline of this skirt leaving a one inch seam allowance not including the waistband i'm going to take the ruler and make a straight line all the way across Then I'm going to cut this out. Now I'm going to flip the fabric over. This is the right side of the fabric. The right side has polka dots on it. The wrong side doesn't. I'm going to take this space of the fabric and just fold it over. This is called the double fold of fabric. This is the front piece I just cut out. I'm going to fold it in half and lay it on top of this since my butt sticks out more i'm gonna draw a little bit further out just for safety reasons i may not actually need the space but i do want to be a little bit safer and allow for more room on my back side than the front now i can move this piece and just cut out both pieces of fabric for the back half together Measure out the length of your front panel and then divide the number in half. And that is the number that I used to make the side marks onto the skirt. After you make all your marks, you're going to cut up these lines to make the slits in the skirt. So I am going to turn everything over. The first thing I'm going to do is make the slits at the bottom. You're going to measure out one inch on each of the cuts of the skirt. Measure two inches up and mark the middle. So now you want to take all three of these pieces and you want to pin them to each other, right sides together. So flip it over to where the middle piece is right side up and then the side pieces are going to be right side down. When you sew, make sure you're stopping at the two inch mark at the bottom that you made for your slits so you won't sew the slits closed. You wanna take a straight line and connect all three lines that you made at the bottom for your slit. Fold back this extra fabric onto the lines that I made for the slits and iron them down. Then you just sew along these folds. Now for the black skirt, I'm gonna take this zipper that I got from Michaels. Wow, this is long. I'm gonna mark where the zipper ends. Now I'm gonna sew up until this spot where the zipper ends. And I'm gonna press open this part of the skirt with an iron. Iron up the rest of the same space. Now you split open the zipper. So after you pressed it down, you want to just place the zipper on this and sew it on the inside of it. This is the finished back piece put together with the zipper. Now I'm going to take the front piece and lay the front piece on top. Match them up together and sew along these pieces. I'm going to go over the ends of the skirt with a zigzag stitch. I went ahead and did a zigzag stitch on the bottom and the top to prevent it from fraying more because this fabric frays a lot. I'm gonna turn it back inside out. So this is a seam measure. You're gonna go around the skirt 
with a one inch seam. You want to place the seam measure on the inside and fold the fabric up and iron over the one inch seam. You want to do that in small spaces and you do it all the way around the skirt so the one inch seam stays in place. After you have your one inch seam ironed across the bottom, you want to turn the fabric onto the right side and do the bottom stitch on the right side of the fabric. I got the whole bottom finished out. I'm just gonna use this whole piece to make my waistband take this much space off. This is about three and a half inches. I'm just gonna use this whole piece to make my waistband. I'm gonna measure out about how long is the waistband. I got about 33 inches. So I'm gonna measure this out for about 34. Fold this in half. I'm folding mine at this white line and then I'm gonna iron it. And then I'm gonna fold up this bottom piece to this yellow line and do the same to the other side. I'm gonna fold this over just a little bit and sew it so that piece stays in on both ends. Put the skirt completely unzipped I'm gonna fold the waistband inside the bottom. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the bottom of the waistband first, and then I'll come back around and do the top. So I finished sewing the bottom part onto the skirt. I want this strip to cover up the zipper, and I'm gonna add a button. So I cut out the same size piece as the waistband, but the only difference is I cut one side a little shorter and did a zigzag stitch across here. I'm gonna fold the sides over and close this up. I'm gonna sew it on top. So I'm just gonna do one straight line across here, only on this side. The last step for the skirt is the button and the hole. I have one black button. I'm gonna sew this on by hand. I do have a button foot. I can link a good video to teach you how to use a buttonhole foot. So I got the buttonhole done. Now I'm just gonna take the seam ripper and go through the middle. Now I'm just checking, making sure my button fits through. Mark the hole. And then I'm just going to hand sew the button onto the skirt. This is the skirt. That's it guys. The last thing on this video for the outro, I'm gonna show you guys where I accidentally punctured my finger with the sewing machine. When I was sewing, I tried to move the fabric too quick and I ended up sticking my hand right under the needle and the needle went right through my finger. I'm not gonna post the picture of the needle in my finger, but I will show you guys the audio. Your finger? Is it yes. stuck? Yes. Alright, um, how do you take it up? I don't know. Do the thing, like how when you lift it up, I it's gonna it. hurt so fucking bad. I mean, bad. shit, what you just gonna you do, brother? Right you gotta take it out. Well, I knew this shit was gonna happen one day. How bad is it stuck in your fingers? It's through her whole finger. Come on the side and look. Oh, fuck. That's all I have for you guys. Thank you guys for watching. Like, comment, subscribe, share. If you do, make your own. Make sure you tag me on Instagram if you ever post it. Follow me on Instagram. I'm thinking of making a TikTok soon. I hope you guys enjoy watching and see you later.